Good morning and welcome to this conference exploring sport horse welfare and the social license to operate. I'm speaking to you from the United Kingdom and their head office and the site of one of the rescue and rehabilitation centres for world horse welfare. A long way both geographically and seasonally. But I wish you a very, very productive couple of days. World Horse Welfare is a charity founded back in 1927, but our foundation is to support the horse-human partnership. As a leisure animal in the United Kingdom, we run the largest rescue and rehoming service for equines across the country. As a working animal, where we work in 18 countries, where over the whole world there are 110 million working equids supporting the livelihoods of nearly three quarters of a billion people. As a farm animal, we were founded as a campaigning organisation and seek to abolish once and for all the long distance transport of horses to slaughter across Europe and then worldwide. But of course, of most relevance today, we support the responsible use of horses in sport. And what does that responsibility entail? Well, of course, it entails putting the welfare of the horse first. But few would disagree that we live in an increasingly mad world and there is a growing call that any use of horses is abuse. And therefore, we believe that the social licence to operate concept has huge value to the equine sports world. The social licence to operate means doing the right thing by our horses, but also being seen to do the right thing by our horses. So it's about bringing trust and accountability to the general public. And that's what I really hope that over the next couple of days, you'll have an excellent chance to discuss how we can develop the five domains to support a good life for all horse sport animals across the world. Thank you so much for the opportunity to speak to you this morning and I wish you an excellent conference.